wedding, <laughs> you had to be motivated. Before I begin, I have some things to admit that I'm sure will not surprise you. The first is I wrote a good portion of these vows in October, <laughs> listening to Christmas music while you were at your bachelorette party. <laughs> I only mention this because I cannot think of a better example of what you do for me. You love me so unconditionally that I can stand up here and tell you and those with us today that I listened to Judy Garland's Christmas music on a 70 degree day in October crying tears of joy, <laughs> trying to figure out how to conceptualize our love. That is the confidence you give me just by loving me. pressure of the situation, I struggled to figure out where to even start. Our kismet serendipitous bumble beginnings, or our long distance love affair fueled by FaceTime and Southwest points. But I'm actually going to start on a date of August 3rd, 2020. It was when I penned the first of what turned out to be over a dozen self-addressed emails with the subject, wedding vows, only 32 days after we met. <laughs> Is she serious? Did she tell you guys about this? Yeah. She wrote me this beautiful card and then she said, turn it over. Oh, and pack your bags, we're going to the Masters. Oh! oh! I am, however, very grateful that I had a little bit more time to finesse them because the first one read, and I quote, Jordan, you changed my shoe game, my Spotify algorithm, and my life forever. <laughs> making the commitment to be here. I know they love each and every one of you and your presence here magnifies the joy of this celebration. Before I met you, I was a happy person, but I wasn't joyous. My life was plenty full, but now it runs over. I was aging, but I wasn't growing. Fear was a driving force in my life, and now it's an indicator of happier days to come. And most of all, I would contort myself into the space available. But now I live in a space you provide me, in the space that you've taught me to create for myself.
a type of man that needs to be raising the next generation, and I'm incredibly thankful that I have you as a teammate in this next chapter. <laughs> Lastly, I just promise to work like a dog and fight like hell for our love, our family, and our future. <laughs> Jordan Penner, you make me the happiest <laughs> and most emotional <laughs> woman in the entire world, but I love you. <laughs>